And now we talk to our reporter uh, for more on the role of Shenzhen, the northern neighbor of Hong Kong. Uh, that's uh, Zhao Lingfeng in Shenzhen. Lingfeng, uh, Shenzhen has become the most uh, economically advanced uh, competitive city in the south of this country, followed only by uh, Hong Kong and Shanghai. Tell us more about the competitiveness of Shenzhen. What makes it the top of the pile? Good evening, Zhou Yue. As we know, Shenzhen used to be the ground zero for China's manufacturing boom, but the city itself has been upgrading its industry. Thousands of innovation and technology companies, big or small, have put down their roots in the city. They have made the city the global capital for hardware making and innovation in recent years. That's exactly what has made Shenzhen so economically competitive. Take a look. The towering skyline of Shenzhen, China's youngest metropolis, Established 38 years ago, the average age of the city's 11 million residents is just 33. Four percent of Shenzhen's GDP is spent on research and development, double the country's average. Young talent flock to the city, helping to fill a booming manufacturing sector. The big trend in the industry? Going high-end. MindRay is a Shenzhen-based medical devices firm with over 1 billion U.S. dollars in global sales. For medical devices, production volumes are usually small, but there are many different types of products. It's more about advanced manufacturing rather than mass production. There are high requirements along the supply chain with regards to technology, from electronics to mechanical optics and even biomedical. Shenzhen has attracted a large amount of talent related to these areas. Mindway was founded in Shenzhen more than 25 years ago. The company's close proximity to Hong Kong gave it easier access to foreign markets. It now sells its products to over 190 overseas destinations. Hong Kong is a key export base for us. That helps with our logistics and finance operations for our overseas subsidiaries and offices. It's also a clinical base for us because its healthcare system is similar to Western ones. The clinical trials of our new products, especially those which are high-end, are conducted in Hong Kong. Over 100 big private firms like MindRay are based in Shenzhen's modern Nanshan district. Other big names include electronics giant Huawei and DJI, the world's largest consumer drone supplier. Shenzhen is quickly closing the gap in GDP with Hong Kong, which is located just across the water. All this leads to the question, how can the twin cities pair up in the building of the new Bay Area? Gu Wanda, an expert in Hong Kong studies, thinks he has the answer. Hong Kong's low taxes, highly efficient legal system, as well as its business environment, have made it impossible for other cities, including Shenzhen, to replace it. One way for the cities to cooperate, I always say, is to establish links between the top universities in Hong Kong and the manufacturing sector in Shenzhen. A soup with these two elements mixed together would taste great. And in terms of Shenzhen's role in the Greater Bay Region, with its high-end manufacturing and high-tech, high-added-value production, Shenzhen could be an engine that powers the development of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area and integrates resources in the region. Today, Shenzhen's entrepreneurs no longer think about making things as cheaply as possible. Rather, they're focused on bringing new and unique products to the global market. That's helping China's manufacturing sector transform into a global leader in innovation. As I said in the story, Shenzhen